One issue that comes up fairly often with food is the rather odd instruction, do not reheat. However, on this general warning, very little else is said about this issue. So, should you follow the instruction? And what actually is going on inside the food if you do actually reheat it? Well, the first thing to say is that some foods are perfectly safe to reheat. However, with others, there are some significant risks. These risks fall in different categories depending upon which particular food is going to be reheated and how it's been stored after the initial cooking. First issue, one of general common bacteria which cause food poisoning and other issues. When cooked food has cooled down, bacteria from the environment or cross-contamination from other food or kitchen equipment will get onto the food. However, initially these are tiny amounts and won't be of any problem to a healthy person. However, even storing the food in a refrigerator, bacteria will grow and multiply until after about two days it will start to be a threat. In order to kill this bacteria when reheating, you needed to cook it for as long as you'd normally cook it from fresh. Just warming the food just a little bit makes the environment more ideal for bacterial growth. This extended reheating time may of course make some food inedible, which is one of the reasons why you shouldn't reheat it. So don't store cooked, unprocessed food for longer than two days in the fridge. Next, some specific foods which have particular problems. The most common of these is rice, though it can affect other foods with a very high starch content. The bacteria, Bacillus cereus, lives on rice and it produces spores. Now these spores are not actually killed by the cooking process, but by themselves they don't represent a threat to health. However, when the rice cools, these spores grow into the bacteria again grow and multiply. As they do so, they produce toxins as a waste product. Now, the longer the rice is left, the more of these toxins are produced. Now, reheating the rice will safely kill the bacteria that were producing these toxins. However, it won't actually remove the existing toxins from the rice. And these toxins, rather than the bacteria themselves, that are likely to give you food poisoning from rice. Other common foods like potatoes, eggs, Mushrooms, and even chicken, can have problems when being reheated. However, if these are only stored for a short time before reheated and are properly cooked the second time, most of these problems can be avoided. So, some key points about food preparation to finish. Refrigeration and freezing of food doesn't kill bacteria. What it does is it slows down their rate of growth. The colder the temperature, the slower the growth, so the longer the food can be stored. Some microwaves don't cook the food evenly, so turning or adjusting the position of the food in the microwave can ensure that all of the food is cooked properly. It's been significant problems if the food is very cold to start with. Finally, you want to ensure that the food is cooked all the way through. You can always cook it in smaller portions. Hopefully you found all this useful and will be able to stay healthy and avoid all that nasty food poisoning.